Hey everybody, Maximum RC coming at you today. And we are in 2024. Man, it seems like 2023 just flew by, didn't it? Uh, well, here we have the first RC for 2024. Now, if you guys remember last year, the first RC for 2023 was a Red Cat Piranha. And that car is still going strong. We did upgrade it. Uh, from the brush system to a nice 2S brushless and that thing picked up a decent amount of speed. This year for 2024, this RC is coming to us directly from RC Life Wires. Now, RC Life Wires, they're a fairly new hobby shop that just started up. Uh, they currently are, uh, are operating from the TikTok shop and honestly, everything that they've had has been great i have had zero issues with any of their rigs and i mean i've posted all of them up here you've seen them all this right here is one of their newest enough talking let's just open it up look at that thing let's bring it out of the box there it is this, ladies and gentlemen, is none other than the RC Live Wires. Uh, I forget what they want to call it, but the fact is, it's the first tenth scale brushless RC. <sighs> I like the shape of it. That's one of the things that drew me to it right away uh, when they first brought it out. They do have various shapes for it. I know they have a pickup truck looking one. Uh, that reminds me more of the old... Um, um nascar races and they have a couple other shapes but i like this one this one reminded me of a more of a side by side and uh they do have come in a couple different colors i don't remember what color i got so let's pop it open but first hand first of all let's take a look at what it says here okay so like i mentioned it is a 10th scale 2.4 gigahertz technology which is pretty much the normal nowadays high speed off-road desert buggy druggy side by side has ball bearings oversized tires string shots comes with lights and batteries so this guy is ready to run it does include the batteries inside in the back of the box we can see ah, it looks like i chose the yellow color uh we can see that the actual here we go we can see that the uh, it looks like the rear differentials or at least the differentials seem to be metal a powerful little motor uh, looks like the spur might be plastic hydraulic oil shocks so hydraulic I mean oil filled shocks the tires are actually they actually have a sponge material inside and it has all ball bearings uh, it is it does have an aluminum I want to say it's aluminum chassis and a couple other aluminum pieces to it uh, you can see right here, it has, runs on 7.4 lithium ion. This is a battery that includes 2000 mAh, which is actually really, really decent, honestly. Uh, and here we have a schematic of what the ESC is supposed to look like. Uh, the remote runs on three AA batteries. Seems to be a fully proportional vehicle, which I would hope it is. Uh, and well, let's open it up and let's take a look inside. <laughs> Okay, first box we have Okay, the first box we have the remote It's not that bad actually uh, Seems to be pretty simple to use single-handedly Um it is a little plastically, but overall it's got good weight to it. It's actually not that bad. We can see that it has buttons right here for the headlights, headlights, rear lights, the power button, a couple little other um, tuning options here. This looks to be like a speed function. I'm guessing it has very, you know, so you can make it go faster and slower. And fine tuning, which I'm going to guess is for the trim of the front wheels. Overall, it's not that bad. 
Looks pretty decent. Uh, in the box, we have... <laughs> that's, that's actually really nice. We have a little baggie, a proper little baggie with tools. Of course, we have the infamous screwdriver, which I think I should start a collection of them at this point. And we have the USB charger, which honestly, at this point, these USB chargers have to actually come out. Um, they proved useful to me uh, when I were, uh, whenever I'm at work and I want to take a, take one of the cars to bash. I'll just take one of these and I'll take one of the lithium ion batteries, not a light, but one of the lithium ion batteries and use that and it'll get me through lunchtime. So no, no shake throwing at the lithium ion batteries anymore. They're actually pretty decent and having chargers like these little USB chargers is very convenient. Uh, I mean, we all know even Arma has been using them. So that's what's up in this first box. Uh, let's see. We have... The instruction manual which shows off uh, various different ones of their vehicles includes different shapes and don't worry I'm actually gonna show this in a second okay so the instruction manual is shared between all of them uh, the only difference between most of these 10 scale cars is the body shell as you can see the body shell on this one is actually a pickup truck All right, and then at the very end, you, it actually has an exploded view of the whole uh, rig. You go through it; it has more exploded views for you to help uh, to help you out. Part numbers. Every single part that's used in this truck, you can find its part number right here. Of course, some of these parts you can easily are easily shared with other RCs. Uh, one of the easiest ones that I can think of that it can be shared uh, would be, let me take a look here, would be the linkages, like the steering linkage, the turnbuckles, uh, the heat sinks, shocks, obviously, could be used uh, between any model, any make and model, as long as it's the same size. Uh, same traveling. The servos is something else. The motors, we're not even going to get started on the motor because let's face it, the motor itself, any motor will work. Uh, gee, looks like the steering component should be able to be transferable with other rigs as well. When I say other rigs, I'm keeping the name brand companies in mind. So looking at the steering component up here, you can see it right there. Uh, you just need a little patience, and I'm pretty sure we can make something from uh, from Traxxas fit if we really need to. Arms. Okay, so that's it. All right, let's see now. Let's bring out the actual truck. Ooh. Oh, that is. Whew. Okay, the box is empty, but. Just look at this thing. All right. Oppa. Well, I found a battery. <laughs> All right. So, lithium ion battery. Um I forgot how many how much power does it have? It's 7.4 2000 mAh battery. Nice little shape of it. It looks like, honestly, any shorty battery would work with this thing as well. So, uh, let's go ahead. Uh, nothing there but packaging. Let's take a look at, that, at the actual truck here. Guys, okay, down a little bit. There you go. So, the actual truck has this, like I said, this side by side style looking style which i'm i'm actually a really big fan of it i really like the way it looks and taking off the body on it now we gotta remember we gotta be careful because it does have lights uh you can actually see lights up here and if we look in the back we can see light bar up here as well uh looking at the feeling the tires they're plump they're nice 
Okay, so I'm not no complaints there. These rear body clips, though, we're gonna have to do something about this. Okay, so there's there's the actual truck. Now we're gonna take off the cover very very gently, and we're gonna unplug the lights just so we can see get a clearer look and you go at the truck itself so you can see here there you go that's a little bit better for y'all uh it doesn't have a little motor right here it's a little it's uh 3650 3600 kv motor not bad it's honestly not bad it gives you decent room if you want to add a little bit bigger motor uh as it is typical with these cars, it is a two-in-one ESC receiver. So you get the three-wire servo going into the actual receiver slash ESC. Dean's connector, which is one of the things that I've always enjoyed with these with uh, with RC LifeWire's cars, that they actually have a Dean's connector and instead of a proprietary connector. We take a look at the rear right here. We can see it has aluminum shock towers, aluminum shocks. Turnbuckles, aluminum, uh, dog bones are aluminum as well. Looking at the front, same thing. Front shock tower is aluminum. The shocks are also aluminum. And uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. everything here in the front is actually aluminum. You can see again, turnbuckles, dog bones, and the steering linkages are all aluminum. Looking at the bottom of the car itself, we can see that the bottom of the chassis is aluminum. Everything else on here is plastic. The arms are nice plastic on here. Uh, it does have a decent little wheelie bar, which should prevent it from flipping over unless you actually hit it. Hit it. Uh, when it comes to the suspension, it's not bad actually. These are oil-filled shocks. Uh... Or at least they should be oil filled shocks. I'm not sure what kind of weight oil they have, but they're not bad actually. They are really aren't that bad. Uh, you can see that, like I mentioned, the shocks are also aluminum and they're adjustable. So they're actually, it's a, it's most of the cars that they sell are hobby grade cars. They might be for beginners, but they are hobby grade. And this is a perfect example of one. This is an actual hobby grade RC. Uh, it's more, it's aimed more towards the beginners, but from there on out, everything else is pretty much the same. So with that out of the way, let's grab the battery. Okay, now with the car put back together, we're in good shape here. Obviously, I didn't put the pins on it right now, the body clips. Uh, but overall, I mean, the car does look in good shape. I already put batteries in the remote, so rule always, 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 golden rule. The remote goes on first. You can see it blinking. We're going to go on ahead, and we're going to turn on the car. There you go. Car is on. Servo speed. Not bad. For what it is. Not bad, not bad, not bad. And now let's take a quick look at this guy. Let's see what this button does. Famous last words. Woo! So, I was right. This little dial right here, you go low on it, and the car should barely move. But, you go high on it, keep it in the middle. And all the way at the bottom. And 
And simple stuff like this is what makes these cars beginner, extremely beginner friendly, because you don't have to be going into a whole bunch, bunch of settings on a remote to be able to drop down the actual speed of the car. The second dial is just as I thought. As you can see me turning the dial, you can see the wheel turning. That is in fact the trim for the front wheels. And the trim looks pretty straight right there. So we should be golden. Uh, we're gonna put this guy on a charge and uh, we're gonna make sure, make sure the battery is fully charged. It's gonna come with me over uh, to work. We're gonna give it a quick bash. We're gonna see if we can get some speeds on this guy as well. And uh, we'll go from there. For the time being, this was Maxman RC with yet again, another RC LifeWires RC. This guy was a 10 scale brushless truck that they have. I like calling this one a little side-by-side -side because of the way it looks. And overall, wait, 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 we're forgetting something. What does the button do? The headlight button? Looks like I wired the lights incorrectly. My bad. Let's fix that. All right. We press the headlight button. We have it blinking. Press it again. Faster blink. Once more. Shuts off. And we're back to steady. Now we go to the rear of the truck. Once again, the bun has a tail light. Or it calls it the rear light setting. Press it once. Blinks slowly, quicker blinking, off, and once more it turns it on. For around, shoot, I don't remember how much this car is worth right now, but uh, I'll post the link at the bottom as I usually do for this car and uh, basically for their shop so you can take a look at all the cars that they have. Uh, overall. We're going to, like I said, we're going to charge this battery completely and we're going to give it a quick little rip and we're going to see how it works. This was Max Menor C. You guys have a good night.